Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and today I'll be taking you through simultaneous equation. Simultaneous equation means two equations with the same unknown and they are solved together. This is what makes simultaneous equation. This is not a simultaneous equation because they don't have the same unknown. This is S, this is A, Y, Y. So for an equation to be a simultaneous equation, they must have the same unknown. The third condition is that they are solved together. We don't just solve one and get answer and solve the other. No, we solve them simultaneously and get two values. That's what makes a simultaneous equation. These are the methods you can use to solve simultaneous equation. Now, as the name implies, substitution method simply means to substitute. Yes, elimination method simply means to eliminate and graphical method simply means to use graph to solve simultaneous equation. I will release a special video to cover graphical method. To solve simultaneous equation using substitution method, this is what you do. We are given these equations. Take this as equation 1 and take this as equation 2. You look at the equation. That's equation 1 and equation 2. Let me, and the unknowns are S and Y. So, between equation 1 and 2, make a choice of which one to use first. If you made up your mind to use equation 1, sec the next step is, in equation 1, we have S and Y, which one should I make subject formula? If you've chosen that, then you can start solving. For me, I've chosen equation 1, and I've chosen to make S subject formula in equation 1. In that case, to make S subject formula, S is simply 8 minus S minus Y. If you're making S subject formula, it means I'm bringing Y this other place. And it's positive here, it becomes negative when you move it. This gives me equation 3. Another person can say, no, I want to start by making Y subject formula. That person can come and say, y is equals 8 minus s to have their own equation 3. Someone entirely can just come and say no, I'm choosing to start from equation 2. I want to use equation 2. And in equation 2, I want to start by making s subject formula. So the person can come and say from equation 2, s is equals 4 plus y. Another human being can just come entirely and say, no, 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 I'm using equation 2. And in that equation 2, I want to make y subject formula. That person can come and say, s minus 4 is equals y, meaning y is equals s minus 4. So all these things are correct. It's left for you to choose what to use. So that's how to do that. Anyhow you do it, you get the same answer. So it's better you understand this way than cramming a particular way. And as a tip, choose a simple one. Yes, choose a simple equation to make some subject formula. Looking at these two equations, or if I give you something like this, s plus y is equals 8, and 7s plus 9y is equals 15. It is true that you can start with any equation and you can make anything subject formula. But you and I know that it is easier to make either S or Y subject formula in equation 1 than making this one subject formula because you have some complex values. So that's a tip you should also take very serious. So I've gotten my equation 3. Now that I have that s is equals 8 minus y, I will have to substitute this value of s into equation 2. 
I made s subject formula from equation one. So let me put this value of s in equation two. I will now come to equation two and say that s instead of s it is now eight minus y. So eight minus y then minus y is equals four. Eight minus minus y minus y is minus two y is equals four. Minus two y is equals four minus eight. Minus two y is equals four minus eight is minus four minus four. So divide both sides by minus two. Y is simply equals two. We've gotten our value for y. In simultaneous equation, so long you've gotten value for y, you must also get value for s. So putting this value of y into equation 3 that I've already established that s is equals 8 minus y, s becomes 8 minus 2 because y is 2, s becomes 6. So in this equation, y is equals 2 and s is equals 6. That's the answer to that equation. Let's solve this using substitution method. So I will come and say, let me call this equation 1. Let me call this equation 2. I want to make S in equation 2 subject formula. And I want to start with equation 2. I can now come and say, S is equals 9 plus 2Y. Because minus 2Y crosses to meet 9 to become plus. Having gotten this, this is my equation 3. So I made this from equation 2. I will now go to the next equation, which is equation 1, and put this value for s. Equation 1 becomes, instead of s, we've got it to be 9 plus 2y is equals 5. 2y plus 9 plus 9 is plus is plus is equals 5. Look at like terms. We have 2y here, we have 2y here. Adding them, it becomes 4y is equals 5 minus 9. So I've taken this to the other side. 4y is equals minus 4. Dividing both sides by 4, y is equals minus 1. So y is minus 1. So let's put y as minus 1 in equation 3 to have s is equals 9 plus 2 minus 1 s is equals 9 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 minus 2 s is equals 7 so the solution to this equation is s is equals 7 and y is equals minus 1 this is how you solve simultaneous equation using substitution method any equation you see that's how you do it thank you for watching my video i am flash isaac feel free to subscribe to this channel flash learners to get my updates on new videos and don't forget to check out my other videos visit flashlearners.com slash videos or search flash learners on youtube to see my amazing videos for all your topics i really appreciate your time thank you <laughs>